Hey everybody, I thought I'd go through Astonishing X-Men sketchbook. This is really cool. It's got Simon Bianchi's artwork and Salvador La Roca's artwork in it. It's just, I love the style that he has. These guys have. And the coloring is beautiful. It's like, wow. And the pencils and everything. This is the front of it. Here's the back of it here. That's got John Cassidy's artwork on it there. But we'll go through this one and see what we got here because this is some really beautiful stuff here. Here's the beast. Cool designs. You get your introduction here by Alex Alexo Alonso or Axel Alonso. I'll pause it here. You can you can pause it there and read that. And pause it there and read that. Alrighty, we'll flip through. This is really cool. This is really beautiful artwork. Wow. Astonishing X Men. The X on his heart should be definitely smaller. The, the tight is all black. He's got all black tights. Same design for both wrist and ankles. Yeah, that's cool. Light on boots, boots. Cyclops, all black all over. About wood gloves on his hands, something gloves, matter gloves. I'm not sure what that means. It says just the pencil. That's really cool. I wonder how much that costs. Like this, this whole page. If he's got this on a big sheet of paper, what that would charge is what they would charge us for that. $2,000, 3000 Wow. 500 Oh, that's beautiful, though. We asked upcoming astonishing artist, X-Men artist, Simone Branchi, to redesign the X-Men's costumes. For some, like Cyclops, who you see here, we wanted a single nip and tuck. A simple nip and tuck. For others like Colossus, we wanted a wholesale redesign. The one linking element we asked him to integrate into each design, an X symbol, placed above the heart for men, centered high on the chest for women. What follows are Simone's designs, along with his commentary. Really cool. We've got some more here. That's really cool. Look at that. It's the designs and everything. The ankles and the way it goes, the calves and the back of the feet. Just the, the, the shoulders down to the arms. The wrist. Really cool. Now he's in color here. What if you use, you got to use a, a Photoshop or something like that. Nice. This is the back of the suit. It's 
Since Scott is the leader of the X-Men, I wanted his outfit to be as clean and simple as possible. Easier said than done. His costume redesign, in fact, took the most time and work. Wow. It's really nice. Emma Frost. Cool. Front side, I do this a lot when I'm designing my characters front side and back um, shots of them so you can see what they look like on, the, on their costumes and everything. That's cool. The facials and the designs and everything. Wow. To me, Emma is all about her face, her expression. So that's where I focus my attention the most. This is really just a nip and tuck revision of her previous costume. Now we got Beast. Larger costume, covers a lot of fur. This one, you can see, he's got his chest out, it just cups up like a, um, a triangle. Up the center of his chest there. And there's more. Action pose. So we have no X on something there. Just gotta cut off. That's cool though. More of that, more beast here. That's cool. We got some color versions here. That's cool. The colors, he's just really beautiful. I about like how he colors stuff. I had a blast working on Hank's costume redesign. I like the idea that the big X would wrap around his big furry body, somewhat like it did in the Cassidy version. So I started from there and noodled around. Cool. Now we got Storm. Wow, that's beautiful. That's really cool. I loved Aurora's pre-90s costume, so that's why I started. At the same time, I wanted her costume to have some simple, but very recognizable African elements to connect her past with her present. That's cool. Now Wolverine. Like how he puts the little, little accents, little white accents there. 
and show the shine. Cool. Colors just pop. I wanted to avoid any major changes for Logan's costume, which is one of the best costumes I think I've ever seen. I am H.O. actually not that humble, to be honest, in my humble opinion. Now oh, we got Angel here. Wow. A minor adjustment for Warren's costume. I just repeated the tu little tubing that runs from his back all the way around his body, ending, ending at his thighs. Cool. Look at the wings. Almost looks like Firestorm. That's cool. Colossus. This was a major redesign. I wanted Pieter's outfit to, to have a high-tech look that was as modern and intricate as possible. And I wanted to cover his legs and feet. Face studies is cool. Love the coloring, that is cool. That's cool. I got Nightcrawler. Wow. He's cool. Looks like a fairy, almost like a, a fairy. You can see wings on him or something. This was just another nip and tuck redesign. I moved the X symbol from the belt buckle to on top of Kurt's heart, as I did, of course, with all the rest of the characters. That is cool. With the face here. Dazzler. You sit there and you think about it, they gotta do it in a way but they gotta continue to draw it over and over. The same way all the time, depending on the detail. George Perez is a lot does a lot of that too. He puts a lot of detail in his costumes and wild designs and everything, but imagine I have to draw it over and over again. I approached Allison's costume redesign in the same spirit that I did that of Colossus. I arrived at a modern high-tech look for Mobius, Mobius-esque touches. A 
Astonishing X-Men promo poster. That's cool. His signature is artistic. Not a finished one here in color. Wow, that's cool. Wolverine's like, yep, here we are. That's nice. Wow. You can see how it changed the way the way he's posed there, his arms out. The finished version is really cool how everything is how it goes. Wow. Now we got here cover sketches for Astonishing X-Men 26 to 30. Move will be a little higher. It's gonna, it's gonna have a connecting covers, it looks like. 26 for Wolverine. Storm in 27. Cyclops in 28. Beast and Emma Frost in 29. And Hasako in number 30. Or no Colossus, I'm not sure where Colossus would end up. Golden Bridge in the whole background. This way, each cover, there's a little hint of detail of the upcoming character and cover. That's cool. Now these are quick designs here. Blueprints for the headquarters that he did and everything. Upper level and lower level. It is in Westchester, that's for sure. Built into the long abandoned military bunkers the, that line the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean. The new X-Men headquarters is a top secret facility whose location is known only to the X-Men and is protected by the most sophisticated cloaking devices in the world. What follows are artist Salvador La Roca's blueprints for the facility along with his commentary. Wow. Now we got here, the danger room. All the perspective and everything. I remember doing that in class with different perspective. Drawing blocks and boxes and stuff like that. I went for something different here. The new danger room was huge. Gym like space is a huge gym like space in the center of which can be found large polygonal devices that morph to simulate almost any scenario. The training room sessions are viewable through shatterproof windows. The inspiration for this a decorative item in a friend's house. If you push the the side of one of the polygons with your hand, the smaller polygons inside adopt, adapt or adopt its shape. Some simple but effective. It takes on more meaning if you were to translate this to a program. You could shape a lot of mobile elements. Let's see if there's going to be more like this. Yeah. The briefing room, 3D imaging and everything, look at that, that's all cool, design all of this stuff. I styled the briefing room in the new, on the new Battlestar Galactica TV show, adding a computer for each X-Man to surf the net. The room is surrounded with video screens that utilize 3D graphics that can be manipulated by the hands. This technology was seen years ago in the Steven Spielberg film Minority Report, but now actually exists. Wow, and they do it in Iron Man as well. A private meeting room sits behind the briefing room, providing a space for Cyclops to conduct smaller and one-on-one -on -one meetings. It's a spare room with just chairs and a table in the center in which sits a 3D projector. Then you got this here, the vault. I had to draw, sit there and design and draw all of this. 
Wow. The centrally located vault is a huge theater that is used for large meetings, debriefings, and planning sessions. Since the facility is buried deep underground, huge fans provide a steady, continuous airflow. Just think, constantly thinking about it, how it's going to work. And we got here, Cerebra. Wow. You sit there and come up with this idea. Drawn it all. Sensibly located, Cerebra can be cons consulted publicly or through the use of a solid energy half sphere privately. Huge generators that utilize outside energy like the wind and water whipping against the cliff face provide power to the system. Wow. And we got side view here. The hangar upper level. Hidden behind the cliff, the rock wall of the cliff, the Blackbird's hangar is pure James Bond. Wow. That's cool. And there's a blackbird in there. It's huge. It's defensive turrets. I'm turning this this way now. And we got the hangar lower level. That's cool. The platform descends to the lower level where four more crafts wait for for duty on an enormous turntable. The lower level here, rotating blackbird platforms, wow. And we got one last one here, looks like. Infirmary, ER. Design, really cool laboratory. The space doubles, this space doubles as a scientific laboratory and an EOR. It is outfitted with the latest cutting edge technology and scanners, mag magnetic re renaissance, resonance, imagers, etc. Wow. And here is one of the covers. And the awesome artwork and beautiful coloring. A storm returns to the X-Men. As Storm returns to the X-Men, a serial killer begins an unholy crusade against mutants. Astonishing X-Men 25, July 2008, Marvel. Wow. I have these books too. I like to go through all of these because it's just beautiful artwork. I'll get to them soon because I like doing, I love doing this stuff. But I ought to pick up some of these and use them as prizes because I see them a lot. But thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Awesome artwork. Um, you guys have a great day again. Collect your dudes out.